Hey everyone, I'm Ellie and welcome back to Courage to Create. Today I'm going to be showing you my Marion collection of all the Marion things I have. So I want to start off, of course, by bringing out the doll and talking about her. So her meat outfit is this little sweetheart dress and she has a little stall thing and shoes and a ribbon and her main like attribute is her very bright strawberry blonde hair with bangs and hazel eyes and she is a be forever doll or historical character doll and one thing that i really like about her is that her nickname in her books is ellie which is the same as my name so that's kind of fun the first time i read that i thought that was really cool and i also like that she's from the 1950s because that's when my grandma was growing up too and so it's kind of fits with my grandma's story so a long time ago i got this mini doll of her which is just wearing the same little outfit with like kind of reddish hair and then i have that to match with her it came with a mini book as well and i'm going to talk about mary ellen's books but that's a closer look at that but then I have two books for her. So this is the book that I got when I got the mini doll on the side. It's her first Be Forever book. And then now the book that she came with, that she comes with right now, is this kind of smaller birch book. Um, I'm going to show you the benefits of each one for fun. So this first one is about 200 pages long. And it doesn't have any pictures though. It's just the words but it's more fun if you're an older, older kid to like read a little more and this book is about I think 100 pages long but it has some more fun illustrations like you can see here there's pictures and there's like pictures of her family and then I'll show you one more page there's like a little rendition of her in her bedroom with her sisters so this is kind of more fun for younger kids who might enjoy those pictures and not have to read as much. So they're kind of different, but they're both pretty fun. Just showing you a side by side comparison of those. And then I just set out a few catalogs that have <laughs> really good pictures of Mary Ellen and some of her things from the past. And then I also have her Seaside Diner Baker case out, like in this picture. I put it right next to the picture so it look cute with that. And this is one of my favorite sets. Definitely, I would recommend this set uh, in the 90 to like 100 if you're trying to get a kind of bigger item but you don't want to get go full out and get a huge item. This is a really fun like item with all these little food items and it's just a very cute 1950s themed piece. So there's just a look at that and then over here we have her pretty pink dress which I just opened up I won't go into too much detail about it because I just opened it up for Christmas but here it is it's a really stunning and beautiful dress for her with all her little items like she has her shoes her gloves and her little um, clip which are fun details for her set and we also have up here on the top her poodle skirt I set up on top for fun there with her saddle shoes and her poodle skirt. Definitely the funnest pieces in that set. And then the last piece I want to show you from my Mary Ellen collection that I have right now is the Little Seaside Diner Lego set, which I got a few years ago for my birthday. And it's just this little set. It has a mini Mary Ellen, and you can also put on little skates on their feet that come in this set. Let's see if I can get back on there. But she is also wearing the poodle skirt, which is really fun. And she comes with another little mini figure. And it's the little seaside diner. How it is when they first came out with the seaside diner. It has their little retro boom box thing. And jukebox, sorry. And it also has the back of the diner back there. It's kind of a fun rendition of the big thing, and since I don't have the big diner, it's kind of a fun piece for me. And I think that's just a really fun little set. I like how I have the big mail on, the mini doll version, and the Lego version. 
And then that is all for that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel, Courage to Create. Thanks for watching.